Well, earlier this week, British Labor's Ed Miliband became the first party leader to call for an independent review of Britain's press following the revelations of phone hacking by the tabloid News of the World. The paper has now admitted it was involved in hacking and it's apologised, but police believe the practice may be much more widespread than first thought, with possibly hundreds of people affected. Already this story has seen the imprisonment of the News of the World's former royal editor, Clive Goodman, and a private investigator, Glenn Mulcair. It also led to the resignation of Prime Minister David Campbell's press secretary, Andy Coulson, a former editor. Well, to discuss the evolving story, we're joined in London by Roy Greenslade. He's a professor of journalism at City University London, a columnist with The Guardian and a former editor of The Daily Mirror. Thanks for being there, Roy. Hi. Uh, let's start with some basics. Who is Glenn Mulcair and why was he employed by the News of the World in the first place? Uh, Mr Mulcair is a former footballer who turned himself into a private investigator in his, uh, after his career stopped kicking the ball. And uh, he made a habit of uh, obtaining information uh, which was difficult for people normally to get hold of, probably involving uh, police information which is not readily available even to journalists who cultivate the police. So he was viewed within the news of the world, which put him on a contract for £100,000 a year. He was viewed as an essential part, really, uh, para-staff, as it were, in order to obtain information on behalf of the reporters. Now, one of the puzzling aspects of this uh, is that the original 